It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. There is no denying that Jackie Chan is by far one of my favorite martial artists of all time. Originally, Jackie Stan had his first debut starting with New Fist of Fury, which originally was like a response to the death of Bruce Lee. And since then, Jackie Chan developed his own personal style when it comes down to martial arts, starting with movies such as Snake and Eagle Shadow and Drunken Master. Basically, what happened is that he fused the elements of comedies and the elements of like martial arts together to create a martial art comedy. And since then, he has perfected the formula for many different movies. In the 1980s, his projects got more and more ambitious with each film. For example, stuff like, you know, Project A or Police Story or Mill on Wheels have more and more ambitious stunts thanks to himself, of course, putting himself in the limits. It is no secret that Jackie Chan sustained so many different types of injuries when he was making these movies. For example, for the case of Snake and the Eagle's Shadow, he actually got his teeth removed. And of course, another thing that also happened to him was that he was also, I believe, electrocuted during the shooting of Police Story. For the case of Armor of God, he hit his head underneath the rock. For Project A, he fell down from a clock tower and completely injured himself. He did at least three different takes for that whole entire movie. So he goes to such extremes for perfections when you watch his movies. So what you're seeing is actually the real deal when it comes down to the case of stunts in his movies. This set is just jam-packed to the brim when it comes down to extras, when it comes down to audio commentaries or the various behind-the-scenes footage. But the standout for me is the fact that it has like so many audio options and so many different cuts of the same movie. There's a Japanese cut of the movie, there's an international cut of the movie, and there's also the Hong Kong cut of the movie. And there are various kind of differences, some are small, some are big, between the three cuts. And for audio options, you get the Cantonese and 5.1, as well as the various kind of model soundtrack for Cantonese. You get the English redub from 2000s, I believe. You also get the model dub that was done back in the 1980s. You also get, of course, like, you know, the various kind of things for audio commentaries. And so for audio options and for the different cuts alone, this whole entire set is basically worth it. The Eureka re-release of Super Cop is actually pretty cool in and of itself. It's not as fancy as the Dragon Forever set, but it's just as nice. It has newly commissioned artwork for both the slipcase as well as the slipcover. And on the back, again, there's a synopsis of the movie as well as, of course, the various kind of specs for the Blu-ray sets. The main reason why I see this re-release of Super Cop as particularly special is largely because it's the first time ever that the original Hong Kong cut of this film has been released on home video in the West. Prior to this release, no other release to my knowledge had the original cut of this film. And besides the original Hong Kong version of the set, it actually includes the United States cut where basically Jackie Chan dubs his own voice into English and so you get at least two different cuts of this film and I'm just happy that the set finally has the Hong Kong version of that particular movie. If I really really had to pick between my favorite ones of the bunch, I would say Super Cop is easily my favorite of the bunch. It's not to say that of course Dragons Forever is actually pretty bad because I really really enjoy Dragons Forever, especially the final fight. But at the same time, Super Cop is something that I always grew up with, and so I love it no matter what. It's like part of my nostalgia, and so I have more nostalgia for Super Cop than Dragons Forever. 
But uh, you guys should really get these sets. I would highly recommend them. They are full of extras. They have different cuts of the movie. They have a lot of audio options. So definitely get this set. these sets. Now, the thing about the whole entire set for like Dragons Forever is actually reason free. Like you can play this set for Dragons Forever on any kind of like Blu-ray player, right? But for the case, uh, Super Cop is actually region locked for region B. So I would recommend you guys to get like a region free Blu-ray player or play on your computer to play it, to make it actually work. But what do you guys think about these sets? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.